his presidential candidacy was on life support, his campaign skills were mocked. But black voters had a different view. South Carolina loves Joe, read the signs. And so it proved for Biden last night. His comeback story is real, and he was relishing every moment. Just days ago, the press and the pundits have declared this candidacy dead. Now, thanks to all of you, the heart of the Democratic Party, we just won and we won big because of you. The question for Biden is whether he can use this emphatic victory in South Carolina as a springboard going forward. For the next few days will be crucial as Democrats select their nominee to face Donald Trump in November. But waiting to outflank and outorganize Biden are the impassioned supporters of Bernie Sanders. The senator from Vermont, with his radical promise to end what he calls America's oligarchy, acknowledged defeat, but hopes to win back the momentum. There are a lot of states in this country, nobody wins them all. I want to congratulate Joe Biden on his victory tonight. And now we enter Super Tuesday in Virginia. It's not just Virginia, but 13 other states to vote on Tuesday, including California and Texas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is now a 48-hour sprint that may determine who wins the nomination. California is the greatest prize of them all. Whoever wins here takes to the convention a massive hall of delegates. A complicated race is now looking a lot simpler. Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, the clear front runners. Robert Moore, ITV News, San Francisco.